All right. Welcome. This is Online Mass TV. My name is Jigs Animo. In case you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button. Why you need to subscribe is because we drop new videos every day here for your fun, for your learning. Okay. Now we have a challenge on the board. The question says, or oh, it reeks two into the cube root of two x plus one equal to x to the power of three minus one. Mind you, we could as well put this in bracket. Okay. All right. Let's take our solution down. So let's take here solution. Okay. We have been asked to find the possible values or value of x. Okay, so from here, the question x is 2 into the cube root of 2x plus 1 equal to x to the power of 3 minus 1. At this point in time, anyway, for some reasons, let's give this equation equation 1. Because we're going to derive some other equations from this. Okay, now from this equation 1, we can take the whole of the cube root of 2x plus 1 to be a different alphabet. So let's use another alphabet to represent this. So we can say here, let, let u equal to the cube root of 2x plus y. Okay, so from here, with this, the whole of the equation 1 can now be written as 2 u equal to x to the power of 3 minus 1. Very unique. If we go ahead to make u the subject of the formula from here, this is going to give us here u equal to x to the power of 3 minus 1 all over 2 because we divide through by 2. And so this, we can label this as equation 2. Okay. We look at this again. We have gotten equation from here now. Let's go back to this point where we said let u equal to the cube root of 2x plus 1. Okay? So that from there, we now yeah, recall. So we now have from where we said u is equal to the cube root of 2x plus 1. We want to look for x, make s the subject of the formula. And by so doing, we have to take care or handle this cube root. So we take the cube of both sides. If we do that, we're going to have this to be u to the power of 3 equal to your cube root of 2x plus 1 or to the power of 3. Mind you, dx, we go with dx. Okay? And so we now have our u to the power of 3 equal to 2x plus 1. Let's proceed on the other side because we are trying to make um, u the subject, sorry, uh, x the subject of the formula. So send x1 to this other side. And so this will now become u to the power of 3 minus 1. Here we are left with 2x. All right. Yeah, we divide through by 2. So if we divide through by 2, divide through by 2, this and this will leave. So we now have our x equal to uh, u to the power of 3 minus 1 all over 2. Now, this is another equation. So let's give this equation um, 3. Okay. If you look at equation 3 and equation 2, you discover that this is an increasing function and also equation 3 is an increasing function too. Oh, please. Let me add this. So we have our 3 here, the 3 dot there. So since both of them are increasing function, so we can um, equate equation 3 to equation 2. Easy. Okay, so from here when I say equate, equate equation. 2 and 3. Okay, if we do that, look at our equation 2. We are having u equal to x to the power of 3 minus 1 all over 2. And we are having x 
equal to zero. So if we equate this, we can equally say that this equal to x. And so this now implies that our x to the power of 3 minus 1 all over 2 is equal to x. Very easy. Okay, so let's go on this smooth journey. All right, let's cross multiply. If we cross multiply, we're going to have our x to the power of 3 minus 1 equal to 2x. And when you rearrange, we're going to have x to the power of 3 minus 2x minus 1 equal to 0. Here we have a three degree polynomial equation. And here we're going to use the um, uh, trial by error method to get our x. And so if we bring out all the factors of one here, we're going to discover that our f of f of minus one will give us the one of the roots. So let's check it out if it's going to give us that. So we have here minus one, we have here minus one to the power of three, minus two into minus one, there minus one. And so this will give us here minus one plus two minus one. So minus one minus one will give us minus two. Minus two plus two will give us zero. And so we have our first expression here, our first factor. Our first factor goes to x plus one is equal to zero. It's one of the factors of this three degree polynomial equation. So let's move from here again and see what the other roots we give us. All right. Now, from this expression, now we've got one of the factors. So to get the other two factors, we go by the long division of our polynomial. So this will now give us x plus 1 or into your x to the power of 3, the plus. Yeah, we don't have um, x to the power of 2. So I want to introduce x to the power of 2 by imputing 0 x square then minus 2x minus 1 okay this expression is still the same thing as this okay now from here let's go ahead and divide x into x cube will give us x to the power of 2 okay then use this x to the power of 2 to multiply everything here this will give us x to the power of 3 plus this time this will give us x to the power of 2. Okay. And so we rule off here and we carry out our subtraction. So if we subtract, then the first terms we have here, this and this will leave. So minus will open this to give us plus 0x squared minus x squared. Here we're going to have this to be minus x to the power of 2. Bring out the next term, which is minus 2 x we go on with the division again x into minus x square we're going to have here to be minus x use the minus x to open up this or to multiply this and so this will give us here minus x squared this times plus one will give us minus x again we rule off and we carry out our subtraction so if we do this again you discover that here we're going to have here Minus times minus will give us plus. So minus x squared plus x squared, this and this will leave. Minus times minus will give us plus. So minus 2x plus x will give us here minus x. Bring out the last term, which is minus 1. We go again, we use x to divide this minus x here. If we do that, we're going to have here to be minus 1. And so we use minus 1 to times x will give us minus x. Minus 1 times plus 1 will give us minus 1. Rule of again, introduce your plus minus. If we do this, at this point, we're going to have this. This will leave the system. And when we carry out this, minus 1, the plus 1 will give us 0. So here we are having 0, 0. At the point where we have our, our division to be 0, 0, then we take the uh, quotient now, okay? And so our equation, our polynomial now becomes x to the power of 3 minus 2x minus 1 is equal to the first factor already is x plus 1. And 
The second one is going to give us a quadratic equation, x minus 1. Good. So we go ahead to solve this quadratically. All right. So how do we solve this quadratically? Let's use the our formula method. So we cannot say solve, solve quadratically. Okay. Solving quadratically, we want to use the formula method. And our formula says that if you have your x is equal to minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Before we go ahead, let's bring out the uh, values of a, b, and c. So we have our a is equal to the coefficient of uh, x squared, which is 1. B is the coefficient of x, which is minus 1, and C is the constant x, which is minus 1. We can go ahead to impute everything here into this formula. So if we do that, we're going to have x is equal to minus, our B is minus 1, so we have minus 1, close bracket, then plus minus the square root of minus 1 r squared minus 4 dot 1 dot minus 1 dot also means multiplication here yeah. so everything all over 2 dot 1 okay so let's proceed on this other side and see what this gives us so if we go on with this yeah we're going to have our x equal to minus times minus we give us plus so we have here 1 plus minus the square root of here we have 1 there. Here we're going to have plus, plus 4. Everything all over 2. Wow. And so if we go ahead again, we're going to have 1 plus minus the square root of 5 all over 2. All right. Here we are having two solutions to this now. So let's split them and see what we have here. So we we'll have our x is equal to your 1 plus um, root 5 all over 2 or we have here 1 minus root 5 all over 2. Now this guy here is what we call the golden ratio. Okay, so in all the three um, uh, solution to this challenge can be stated therefore x is equal to the first one is minus 1, this is x1, x2 is equal to 1 plus root 5 all over 2, and x3 is equal to 1 minus root 5 all over 2. Okay, now, like I told you, this is what we call the golden ratio. Golden ratio. Okay, so these are the three roots okay this is our goal duration these are the three roots to this challenge if you have gained something from this uh, challenge um give the video a thumbs up and do not hesitate to share with family or friend members who need this knowledge remember jx locks you because you are always there everyone of us at online mass tv love you so much bye for now